Nothing is permanent except change and it is we who have to change and not that the world will change for us. Those that change in accordance with situations survive well. These are all old maxims. In nature, living things evolve this mechanism of change in its intricate structure. Every organism right from its birth is posed to challenges of various changes in the changing environment. These variations may or may not be congenial all the time. In this situation, a living entity must keep pace with the rolling nature and vault accordingly. Those organisms that have retained the mechanism of having variegated changes in form and function during development are at a selective advantage of survival and worthy deserved to be called fittest survivors. The paragons of changes during life cycles are insects and we are to discuss all this in the program. Etymology The word metamorphosis derived from the Greek word transformation. Metamorphosis in biology means the process of transformation from an immature form to an adult form in two or more distinct stages. Paragons are insects and amphibians. Life for most insects begins as a larva or nymph, then progresses to the pupa stage and ends as an adult. The physical transformation of insects from one life stage to the next is called metamorphosis. Insects may undergo gradual metamorphosis, complete metamorphosis or none at all. With a few odd exceptions, all insect life begins as an egg. After leaving the egg, insects must grow and transform until reaching adulthood. Only the adult insect can mate and reproduce. The physical transformation of an insect from one stage of its life cycle to another is called metamorphosis types of insect metamorphosis. All insects in the order pterygote undergo a marked change in form, texture and physical appearance that is they metamorphose from immature to adult. These insects either have hemimetabolous development and undergo an incomplete or partial metamorphosis or show holometabolous development in which they undergo a complete metamorphosis including a pupil or resting stage between the larval and adult forms. Insects may undergo gradual metamorphosis where transformation is subtle or complete metamorphosis where each stage of the life cycle appears quite different from the others. In some insects, there may be no true metamorphosis at all. With regard to metamorphosis, Entomologists divide insects into three groups, ametabolous, hemimetabolous and holometabolous. Ametabolous. Here no metamorphosis is seen and there is direct hatching of the young which resembles the adult in all form, function and physiology except that it is miniature in size and sexually immature. Through a series of successive molds, it matures to adult. Hemimetabolous, also called as half metamorphosis. In hemimetabolous insects, immature stages are called nymphs. Development proceeds in a repeated stages of growth and ecdysis that is molting. These stages are called instars. The juvenile forms closely resemble adults but are smaller and lack adult features such as wings and genitalia. This process is known as partial or incomplete metamorphosis. The differences between nymphs in different instars are small, often just differences in body proportions and the number of segments, although external wing buds will form in later instars. Insects change in accordance to how they look and what they can do when they grow. Some insects with incomplete metamorphosis 
have three different life stages. These insects start as eggs which are sometimes so small that you can't see them with the naked eye. When the egg hatches a larva or nymph comes out. Nymphs are just baby insects. Finally, it changes into a mature adult with the wings. Some insect nymphs are aquatic, which means they live in water. These nymphs usually have gills and look very different from the adults. They will turn into. Nymphs that live in water are called gnats. Some insects that have a life cycle of egg nymph adult are cockroaches, dragonflies, grasshoppers and true bugs. Complete metamorphosis or holometabolism. When all insects grow, they change how they look. Insects that have complete metamorphosis have four different life stages. These insects start as eggs which are very small. The egg hatches and larva comes out. The larva looks like a worm and eats and eats so that it can grow much bigger. When the larva has grown, it changes into a pupa. The pupa usually cannot move or eat. Pupa is a special time when insect is changing into an adult that will look very different from the larva or the pupa. Most pupae, that is plural of pupa, are inside cocoons. When pupa opens, the adult insect comes out. In holometabolous insects, immature stages differ markedly from the adults. Insects which undergo holometabolism pass through a larval stage, then enter an inactive stage called the pupa or chrysalis and finally emerge as adults. This process is called complete metamorphosis. It is theorized that the pupal stage is the evolutionary compaction of all the nymphal stages of their hemimetabolous ancestors, while the larval stage is an extended mobile form of the developing embryo. Many insects have a life cycle of egg, larva, pupa, adult. Some of these are beetles, bees, wasps, ants, sawflies, butterflies, moths and the flies. We just see an example of monarch butterfly of complete metamorphosis. The monarch butterfly goes through four stages of development. Life for a monarch butterfly begins as an egg hatched from an adult. This egg then develops into a worm-like larva called caterpillar. In the pupa or chrysalis stage, the caterpillar spins a silk pad on a twig or leaves and hangs from this pad by its last pair of prolegs. It hangs upside down in the shape of a J and then molds leaving it encased in a green exoskeleton. The mature butterfly emerges after about two weeks and feeds on a variety of flowers including milkweed flowers, red clover and the golden rod. Insect growth and metamorphosis are controlled by hormones synthesized by endocrine glands near the front of the body. Neurosecretory cells in an insect's brain secrete a hormone the prothoracicotropic hormone PTTH that activates prothoracic glands which secrete a second hormone usually ecdysone or an ecdysteroid that induces ecdysis. 
PTTH also stimulates the corpora alata, a retrocerebral organ to produce juvenile hormone that is GH which prevents the development of adult characteristics during ectasis. In holometabolous insects, molts between larval instars have a high level of juvenile hormone. The molt to the pupal stage has a low level of juvenile hormone and the final or imaginal molt has no juvenile hormone present. According to recent research, adult Manduka sexata is able to retain the behavior learned as a caterpillar. Many observations have indicated that programmed cell death, that is apoptosis, plays a considerable role during physiological process of multicellular organisms, particularly during embryogenesis and metamorphosis. As a matter of fact, Metamorphosis in animals evolved as a mechanism to combat the onslaughts of harshness of variegated ecological niches and selectively by varying form and lifestyle an organism could exploit the environment in a better way and march a journey towards fit survival.